fam, this is TC, your guiding chariot. Welcome to my channel and to your June prediction video. So excited to get this out for everyone. Uh, in this video, in case you are new to my channel, we are going to look at kind of general messages and themes concerning romance, uh, personal development, career, finances, um, and also kind of overall spirit messages, whatever spirit uh, feels you need to know for the month ahead, um, for the month of June and through Gemini season. Uh, because this is a general reading, just the nature of general readings, um, my only ask of you is that you take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Do not try to force these messages. If it doesn't make sense to your situation or you have to forgive too many things for it to make sense, that message just wasn't meant for you. Let that part of the reading go and only take what fits, what feels right, what hits you intuitively, or, you know, basically what makes sense to your circumstances. Uh, because of that, um, I do recommend that you watch the videos for all of your signs, sun, moon, and rising. Um, through June, uh, we still have three planets that are retro. So Jupiter, uh, who is Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are still retro through the month of June. So you may want to check out those three as well. That might have some extra um, personal development notes for you because obviously when these planets are retro, it turns those messages inward versus outward. Um, towards the, I think it's actually, I want to say it's like right, it's either right when Sun moves into Cancer, or maybe like a little right before, uh, we also have Neptune um, going retrograde. So you may even want to watch the video for your Neptune sign. Uh, that one might be a little more critical than the other three just because that one's happening this month. So it's really starting to teach us that lesson and kind of have us review some things. Um, just throwing those out there. Um, if you're new to this, I always recommend that you watch your sun and your rising at least. I definitely watch those two uh, personally when I'm looking at my own videos online, but do with that information what you will. Main thing is that you're just taking what resonates and leaving behind the rest. All right. So with that said, let's get started and get to your reading. I'll see you in a sec. Hello, Taurus, sun, moon, and rising people. Welcome to your June reading. All right, let's get things started, shall we? All right, so first let's talk about some love. Spirit, what's going on in the world of romance for Taurus in June and Gemini season? Nope, oh, there it is. I was like, mm, doesn't feel right. Oh. All right. My single Taurus, this one's for you. Very soon. Very, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Comes to you now, yes. So, sorry my couple Taurus. This literally feels like it's for my singles. So, I will say single Taurus. Even though it does say comes to you now, I don't necessarily know if it shows up this month for all of you. I do think it's coming very soon, so it possibly could be July. But I feel like this card is really speaking to the moment is imminent, like it's coming, it's on its way. But you'll notice the first thing that that card talks about is clearly decide what you want. So I think instead of just, oh, I can't wait to find somebody. Oh, I can't wait to find my girlfriend. I can't wait to meet my boyfriend. Like, don't be so vague. Like really, what, what qualities does this person possess? You know, what is it that you love about them? Like map it out, because they're coming. They're, they're, because honestly, as you're looking for them, they're looking for you. But they're still, like the image of them is still kind of hazy. So really, really kind of reflect on what, what this person, you know, what characteristics they have, how they treat you, how you feel when you're with them. Um, you know, all those important qualities for you, you know, features that you like about them. You know, physical, mental, personal, emotional, you know, attributes they like. Things that are important to you in a relationship. Do they need to be a dog lover? You know, do they need to, you know, be a wine drinker? Like, do they need to love scary movies? Like, all those things. Like, think of what this person really encompasses. And it's going to sound funny. And I've had this advice for many, many years. And for many, many years, I was like, that's stupid. Why does everyone tell me this? 
<laughs> and honestly, it makes perfect sense. So I'm going to pass it on to you, and if you think I'm stupid, go for it. But I promise there will be a day when you hear it and you're going to be like, oh my god, that's totally what I needed to do. So yes, you do need to picture what this person looks like because you need to define it for yourself. You need to know how they treat you. They, you, know, you need to know all those things. So literally, you need to like envision this person and then forget about it. I know, it sounds silly. But essentially, figure out what this person is like. Their attributes, you can even list them out. Definitely helps for me. And then you kind of have to like process and feel that. Like, feel what it feels like to be with this person, to have them in your life, to interact with them, to come home to them, spend time with them. What do you like to do together? How does that feel? That feeling is what you hold on to. That feeling is what you sit with. All the, all the little details that you let go. Because honestly, the universe may have someone who is bigger and better than all of those things on that list. But the thing is the feeling, because that's the vibration. Once you put that vibration out, the universe finds something to match that feeling. So the feeling you hold on to, all the little da 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 that was just to help you get the feeling. So all of that you throw out the window. And then hang on to the feeling. That becomes the prayer. That becomes the intention. That becomes the wish, all right? Because once you get there, then yes, very, very soon. Some of you totally could be this month. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying I think for majority this is planning phase and then they're coming around the corner. But hey, the sooner you can get through the planning phase, the sooner they can come in. Because like I said, as you're looking for them, they are also looking for you. Right. Oh! Oh my god, I wish you could see that because I think it happened on the other side. This card literally like slid out. We're taking this one. We're not even going to cut it. That's your card. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that's the one. <laughs> oh, I love when they do this. All right. So here we are talking about that's the prayer. That's the wish. Look at your card. Charity. Prayer and contemplation. Ugh. Oh. I mean, when they're right, they're right. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So this month... All about that prayer, making that wish list. I've just started hearing like the Jiminy Cricket, like when you wish upon a star, like legit. You're wishing upon a star right now, Taurus. And I, I almost called you Pisces. I don't know, maybe some of you are trying to attract a, in a Pisces. I don't know. I literally was like, I almost called you Pisces. Sorry about that, but could have been a reason for it. Just saying. So prayer and contemplation, really focusing, setting that intention, and then putting it into prayer. And like I said, what puts it into prayer is that feeling. Whether you're, whether this is about a romance, whether this is about, you know, we're about to talk about money, whatever your goal is, it's about the feeling and then putting the feeling out there. All right? All right, Spirit, what is going on with work and finances for Taurus in the month of June? Ooh, it's got like chills. Ooh, could it be better than that? You guys got the call card, so this is judgment in this deck. So again, answering your soul purpose, finding your literal calling. Love this. So to me, this tells me, and honestly, I think there's some type of shift going on. Whether this is a shift in the workplace or this is a shift inside of you concerning work, but I feel like you are kind of realigning. You may also be looking for a new opportunity, one that truly is more aligned and feels more fulfilling to you. So I wouldn't be surprised, Taurus, if some of you, you know, maybe have wanted another job or have been looking for maybe, you know, maybe it's not another job, but you want a different role within your company or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. I also wouldn't be surprised if an opportunity presents itself this month. It's kind of exciting. But could even be a rebirth of some sort. Judgment usually speaks to rebirth. So that could be a thing for some of you as well. But in the workplace, I really think it's about finding finding a space, finding a job, finding, you know, a line of work that truly feels fulfilling to you. 
And I think that moment is coming, so look out for that. That's going to be exciting. Okay, let's get your main message, Taurus. What's the most important thing Taurus needs to know about the month ahead? Ooh! Okay, bottom of the deck, Four of Swords. Stillness, quiet, especially quieting the mind. We're not overthinking this month, all right? So this is a moment of rest, moment of stillness, which is funny, because literally the first card out, Eight of Wands, communication, swiftness, movement. Sometimes this is travel. Some of you may be traveling, Taurus. So Eight of Wands followed by the Lover's card. So this is the card for Gemini, so you could be partnering with a Gemini. But having these two out together, first out the gate, with the Very Soon card right above them. Hilarious. So mirroring, mirroring that, mirroring that even more. This new love coming in, it's coming in hot, coming in fast. But I'm telling you, you have to align with it first. You don't align with it, you're not going anywhere. Because right after that, here we have this Two of Swords, feeling at an, you're at an impasse. It's like you're walking through the woods and you come to a fork in the road and now you don't know which way to turn. This is the alignment. This person's coming, they're looking for you. Legit, they are looking for you. You know, but you, it's almost like they're, they're showing up to the station about to find you. We need to get you there for you to meet them. You're, you're, you're kind of lost, wandering a little bit. We need to get you to that train station to, to, to get, get on that train so you can meet them at the next stop. Like, we need to find you your way forward. Again, this is your way forward here. And then you have the Hermit card coming out after that. Hermit card is about guidance. And you know, to me, that's giving me this call card. I know we use this at work, but this the hermit is it's kind of like the hanged man where it's about kind of going through the darkness to find illumination find understanding but the thing with the hermit is that there's help there's assistance here you're being guided with a hangman you're just kind of hanging in the dark and you need to figure it out here there's literally some support so pay attention to your intuition Taurus because it's going to give you little pings and help and I feel like especially romantically especially when it comes to relationships and and getting you to that right vibration. I think that's where a lot of these little, these little intuitive little feelings are gonna start like sending you signals. Yep, because here we have this card of communication. What's clarifying that? The High Priestess. This is all about intuition. This is your inner voice. That's where this communication is coming from, my darlings. You need to almost channel your inner water sign and channel that spiritual nature. Knight of Swords. So this, to me, is also a card of communication. It is a card of action. Is out of the entire like court set in the tarot deck. This is by far the fastest moving. It's a very action-oriented card. This, I think, is speaking to this other person coming in, whoever the other half of the lovers is. This is them. Like, what, literally, when I say they're looking for you, they are looking for you. So we need to get you ready, because they're coming in quick. They're coming in real fast, all right? Ah, so your two of swords, being clarified by the three of pentacles, teamwork, working together. Honestly, I see this teamwork, like this is spirit. It's like you, it's like you, your guides and spirit, working together to manifest working together to hear the prayer, to send the message, send the intention, and then return that, that vibration back to you. Yep. Hermit card, bringing in this new offer here with this Ace of Pentacles. So it could be speaking to this job, because it could directly be talking to money. But honestly, the Ace of Pentacles is just about a new offer of abundance. Abundance could be financial, abundance could be emotional. Abundance could even be spiritual, like abundance could come in any form. But again, this is what gui what um, your guides are trying to lead you to. These, oh. I feel like in all the other readings that I've done so far, they all told a real logical story. Like it was like, here's the progression, and then these kind of like slotted in and 
and added some nuances to this progression. You guys, it feels very different. It feels like there's like these four events going on this month. Like these all feel kind of siloed. Like here you have all this inner communication coming from your intuition, trying to lead you forward, trying to bring you success. You have this other person out there trying to find you and hunt you down because they, this could even be like a secret admirer. They could just be watching you from a distance, waiting to make their move. Like this person is, is really intent and coming for you and keeping an eye on you. And then you also have this need to really work with spirit to help manifest and bring this about and get get yourself like uncrisscrossed and sorted out so you have a clear path ahead. And then you have this like guidance to this new abundance coming in that the universe is trying to gift to you. It does feel like four disconjointed events, but all of them kind of going on simultaneously. All of these things kind of working on you. I think the big thing for you, because this this really doesn't, I mean, it concerns you, but this doesn't directly concern you. This is this is more about them kind of coming into the situation. This is guidance you're receiving. Your intuition is going to be sending you messages, and you're going to be working with spirit. So your job through all of this is really what's encompassed in this charity card, prayer and contemplation. You almost are kind of like the spiritual stillness. You're the eye of the storm. All of this is swirling around you. You need to be the still center so all of it just can beeline right to you. I almost want you in like a meditative state all month, if that's possible. <laughs> but lots of good things going on for you. But you, do, you need to be very clear spiritually and energetically, knowing what you want, having that feeling and that intention within you, and serving as the still center, as all of these blessings kind of swirl around and try to find their way to you. You need to be the eye of the storm. Oh, I think that's what I'm going to call this video. But literally, that eye of the storm. You are the eye of the storm this month, Taurus. You need to be the still center while all this chaos around you sorts itself out and then finally aligns with you. But you have to align with yourself first. So again, there's your advice this month with the charity card. All right, my loves, I'm going to wrap up your reading here. Sending you my love as always. Wishing you the best, June. Honestly, you have a pretty amazing one coming your way. Super excited about this. Um, with that said, I'm going to send you on your way as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you for joining me and supporting me on my channel, watching this video. I love you for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, thank you for all the likes, the subscriptions. Keep them coming. I love connecting with you guys as well. So if you have anything to share, questions for me, don't be afraid. Hit me up in the comment section down below. Um, you can also DM me privately on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. And as always, if you want to book a private session with me, all that info will be in the description box. All right, my loves, take care. I'm wishing you the best, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye, Taurus.